All right, we'll get started with Mike Wilson, Ben McKee, and David Pascal. Yeah, Josiah, obviously with, with Rick going back to Texas, there's just a lot of emotion and, and stuff going on around all of this. How do you guys as players keep this just about playing a basketball game and, and keep it focused on the court? Yeah, we just um, we try to stay together as a as a unit. Uh, we know this is a big game. Um, every SEC Big Twelve Big Twelve challenge is big. Uh, we look forward to these games every year, um, but this year especially big for Coach. Um, we know we want to go in there um, and play for each other, but also um, go in there and, and do it for him, um, as he's left an amazing legacy at the University of Texas. Um, but yeah, we just try to block out the outside noise um, and just try to stay together as a collective unit. Josiah, this week or since uh, the Florida game on Wednesday night, have, have you noticed uh, Coach Barnes being any different with, with it being Texas on Saturday? No, nah, not, not really. Um, no, nah, he, he's the same in, at, at day in and day out. So I haven't really noticed the change. Um, I talked to him about it just yesterday after film, just what his thoughts were. Um, but I mean, he's just really, I know he he knows they're gonna do a lot for him, probably pregame um, and then in the hours leading up to the game, but he's just trying to stay as focused as possible. I think he's doing a great job of doing that and just kind of treating it, even though it really isn't just another regular game, um, just trying to treat it as, as that. Josiah, this up weekend's obviously different from the others. Do you take a lot of league pride in this in this weekend? Do you pull for other SEC teams, or sometimes is that tough pulling for some of your biggest rivals? No, nah, it's definitely not. Um, I believe um, that the SEC is the best basketball conference in the league, in, in the nation. So um, I'm definitely pulling for those guys, um, every other school in the SEC, uh, because it just makes our, our conference look better and then brings more excitement to our games. Go back to Mike and Grant. Yeah, Josiah. DJ's kind of had a rough maybe last month and coach Barnes talks a lot about just how much you guys all love him. How do you keep encouraging him and keep him engaged in, in being who he is around the team? You know what? It, it actually hasn't been hard because VJ, um, he, he's definitely been in a, in a tough situation, but he's handled it uh, with so much class. And, you know, every day VJ comes in with a smile on his face and he comes in and works hard. And he's, if you come to our practices, I'd probably say him and Z, him and Zakai are probably the, the two most talkative, most enthusiastic players throughout the whole, however long we practice. Um, but VJ's done a great job of, of staying in good spirits. He's always ready to go. Um, and whenever his number is called, I, I know he'll be ready. Um, but yeah, I mean, VJ is the ultimate team guy. Um, he, he, to, he tells us all the time that he just wants to win. He doesn't matter how much. It doesn't matter how much he plays. He doesn't worry about playing time. Um, and then you can't ask for much more um, from anybody or from it, from a teammate um, than that. Josiah, since Kentucky, how pleased have you been kind of with the response of this team? And, and do you see this as a chance to, with the last three games and, and what you guys got coming up to try to build some momentum? Yeah, definitely. I feel like we've um, found our identity. Um, still trying to find it. We still got a lot of a lot of areas of growth that we have to work on. Um, but I feel like we just we've gone out. We just tried to be play tough and play hard and have that will to win uh, each and every night. Um, and so I feel like I'm I'm really really happy with our response um, as a team uh, since the Kentucky game for sure. Ben, then Reese, Josiah. This is your third. Uh, SEC Big 12 challenge and you all or you've played in other games against Big 12 teams. Is there a difference in style of play between SEC teams and, and Big 12 teams? And if there is kind of how would you describe the SEC style of play and Big 12 style of play? I, I can't really say like there's one specific thing or any big difference. I feel like um, in the conferences, I feel like every game's different. Um, every game, there's different teams, there's different players on the court. Um, they try different actions, they play different defenses. Uh, so it'd be hard to pinpoint like whether the SEC plays differently than the Big 12. So I, I mean, every game's different. So I, I can't really say that um, there's a big difference in, in the style of play. Josiah, you hit a big three a couple of days ago. It seems like your jump shot's falling a little bit better. How much more confident are you, are you in your yourself with your jump shot lately? Um, my confidence, I, I tell my teammates and the coaches all the time, I'm, 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 a, I'm a confident shooter. Um, I believe that um, every if, if I miss three in a row, I think the next three are going to go in. Um, but I've just tried to 
let my uh, let the let the offensive side come to me and try to pick my spots. Um, not trying to do, use qu quality over quantity. Um, just trying to limit the amount of times. But if I'm if I'm making shots, then that's a different story. But just try to limit uh, the amount of tough shots that I try to take and, and try to get in rhythm open shots because um, that's what I feel like. That's when I feel like I'm at my best shooting the ball, and I feel like that's what that's what our team needs. Um, so I mean, I, I'm always confident in in my ability to shoot. All right, Josiah, thank you very much. Thank you.